You'll never see coming. What's up? <laughs> I hope I didn't kill you guys with that terrible performance of uh, Persona soundtrack. Uh, yeah, because of the last video, I put some Persona stuff in there, which is a game I'm a big fan of, if you haven't noticed. So yeah, um, if you guys hear something in the background, it's probably the rain, because it's been... It's like the day has been very very hot and now it's we have a beautiful nice summer uh, rain storm actually uh, so you might hear some thunder maybe not my dishwasher or maybe someone has come into my apartment and it's murdering me so you get to decide which one is canon uh, another thing uh, I'm pretty excited because I'm booking my trip to Australia uh, and I'm really excited about that so good day mate I'm working on my Aussie accent yeah put the shrimps on the barbie <laughs> so that, that was a terrible uh, Australian <laughs> accent <laughs> if you are if you're, you are Australian I'm sorry about that if you aren't you probably will think that that was the best Australian accent you've ever heard and you might be right who knows so let's uh, enough fucking around let's uh, get on with the video uh, last time we left off because I didn't fucking know where where to go so let's and I didn't, didn't know what to do I think I grabbed everything in this room here right yeah I, uh, I keep going through that door because I think that's the place to go. Fuck's sake. Let's go here because uh, this door came in. I think this, yeah, this fucking thing is missing, right? Uh, let's have a look here. So we have, ah, uh, this is fucked up. So we have here carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol. Alright, so. It's probably the the thing for three numbers we need for uh, the safe, right? So uh, I think they said carbon dioxide, CO2. So yeah, last time we figured out that it's probably three. This this number here, right? Because it's three atoms. Ethanol is made of two carbon ath atoms. Six, so that's eight, so that's nine. Carbon, not ethanol. Carbon is three. Ethanol is uh, nine. Was the next one? Ammonia. Ammonia, I think, was this place here. That is salt. Iron powder. Nope. Ammonia. Ammonia is one. So it's probably four, right? So three, four, nine. Let's do it. Yeah, I, I kept thinking that maybe I missed something or whatever, but I, I mean, I got everything else. It's probably this number that's this thing that's missing. So what did I say? Three, three, four, nine, or three, nine, four. Three, nine, four. All right. So, oops. So three. Four, nine. Oh, that fucking worked, finally. Fake heart. Oh yeah, fake heart. Well, I mean, who are you calling fake there, man? Maybe. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. What a you big think we should puss. Go back? Oh, so some uh, voice dialogue, which means some story. So sit back, relax, and let's get more sorry here yeah I think that's probably best mm -hmm. hey seven what's up oh well is is that a medicine bottle I got curious about it here oh uh ethylene diamine tartrate yeah that's right CDT never heard of that what kind of medicine is that Probably some rape drug. 
It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? To clean the tools, maybe, you know? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still. Fuck if I know. It looks like it's cleaned my brain up. What, you remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Hmm. Once the crystals turned into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that... Sorry about that, I pressed X. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even once nowhere near the first American factory. They'd been making crystals the same way. With the same materials and the same equipment and environment. Now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. What? Even an EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. <laughs> what the fuck? This game has some very weird, like, sci-fi stuff. <laughs> like, conspiratory... Uh, what's that called? Conspirator, whatever theory. Oh man, I, I can't seem to think of the word. It's like right there. I've heard that word 500 times. Whatever, you know what I mean. Consp After it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like, man, how do you say it? You mean like it was infected with a virus or something? Seven Shooks is sad. No, not like that. It spread like wildfire. It showed up in labs that were completely isolated from the rest of the world. It even started happening to crystals that were completely sealed up. It doesn't seem like it could have been a result of this stuff coming in contact with other samples. Then... Well, I guess it was some sort of information. Like, the crystals were transmitting this information all across the world somehow. What? What information? How to make a new crystal. Someone had to tell the stuff how to do it, right? Like he just whispered to the EDT in the tank. <laughs> what? Hey, if you do this, you can take in water molecules. Come on, man. That's just... I mean, who is this someone anyway? Someone you can't see. <gasps> a ghost. Someone who exists all over the world. God. You mean... like, like a god? Maybe the devil. Oh shit! Hey, what are you two doing over there? Creepy as fuck, right? Stop wasting time and get over here! Man, you know what? I'm I'm starting to be to become very self-conscious of my singing in the in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> I might cut that out. If you don't hear me singing, then I cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hear it later and think about it <laughs> yeah maybe I just fucking leave that in nobody is watching this anyway <laughs> okay okay we're coming maybe you are so in that case I'm sorry about that jeez yeah so anyway that's the story it might be useful someday don't forget it information being transmitted invisibly could such a thing really happen could it? I don't know. Well, thinking about that crap isn't going to help me right now. We need to figure out how the hell to get out of here first. First time I've heard of that, so I haven't... I don't think... I think 7 is full of shit. So, we, I think we have all the... the I mean, if there is a story thing happening, then probably... Purple liquid. So, if there is a story thingy, thing happening, then probably... Uh, 
we have all the right parts, so let's... Okay, so we've collected the six parts of the medical mannequin. So the ones of God must be for Lucy, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Well, <laughs> her lady parts. <laughs> Any objections? Nope. Agreed. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Combine! It's like fucking Voltron or uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> Alright, so... Looking nice there, Lucy. Hey, nothing happened. That's odd. Maybe it's the wrong weight? Wait, yeah, there's a scale... Under the bed. Well, I don't know how there is a scale on the other side of the bed. Well, maybe... We need to get a scale to a specific number. Oh yeah, we got that pamphlet, or whatnot. How are we gonna do that? I think we're supposed to swap her body parts with John's. Oh, let's give it a shot. Operating instructions. This screen will display two medical mannequins. You can switch the body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Hmm. Well, I thing is I I need to, You know I don't know which one so we can't change the, the head and the left arm. Thing is, I don't remember the the whole thing, right? The how how much weight the the leg has and whatnot. I don't remember that. But you you see, this hand here seems like it belongs together with this hand, right? Hmm, her heart's purple. Uh, these two legs seem like they belong together. Let's let's go back. So let's see here. Uh, how do you go about files? Medical records. So Lucy needs to be 53.2, 51.3. 53.2. Fifty-three. So swap the, the the arm. That's probably true because he has the same arms. I mean, she has boobies, but maybe he's fat. So let's swap that. Oh, I meant to swap this here. Let's fucking swap everything. Oh, what? <laughs> <sighs> Easiest fucking puzzle ever, I just swapped everything. It came from John's operating table. We better check it out. I swapped everything. Hey Junpei, look at the scale. Huh? The little scale. A key. Hey, it opened. Oh, I get it. It must have opened because we matched John's weight to that on the chart. Let's grab that key. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Uh, this one doesn't have anything, right? Scale display, yeah. Guess not. I guess not. So, uh, think this was the place? Nope. Here, right. I don't know, maybe because my apartment's really uh, dark right now, but this game is getting fucking creepy, man. With the whole hey, hold on. Conspira Let me check the. Fu Let me Google that word because I don't remember how it goes. Sorry, uh, I mean English is not my first language, right? Conspira conspiracy theory. My God, I'm so dumb. Of course, it's conspiracy. Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Oh, god damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, j just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. 
Hey, Clover, what's wrong? Come on, let's get out of here. I think she's sad. Because, uh, uh... What are you doing? Her brother is going, is gone. Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover, can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Well, he is. <laughs> she, of course, it, she doesn't know in this uh, timeline or whatever you want to call it. Huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. Nah, of course not. What are you talking about? But uh, yeah, she is. <laughs> I mean, she died last time. What's wrong with you? Let's just get out of here. We've got the key. Let's use it. That cool with you? Yeah, let's get out of the ship, all right? Yeah. Maybe we'll find Snake. Then it's time to go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just forget everything I told you, okay? Don't worry about it. Really. I mean it. Yeah, no problems. All right. Thank you. No problems, Damn, man. What the hell took you guys so long? Yeah, we were, I don't know, making out. You playing doctor in there or something? Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Seven is Maybe. a pervert. Jealous? All right, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it. All right. Yeah, just fucking do it. And why the fuck Find are you that. asking? Oh, that fucking <laughs> door is creepy. All right, let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? My dick's hard. You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy? You know, get a little excited? Oh, yeah! Let's go, <sighs> man. <sighs> Not really. A couple <sighs> people have died, though, no? My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. You found it. Here too, huh? Here too. Every door yeah. in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy. Huh? Jumpy. June. June. And Santa and Lotus too. Good. So. If you go through this door, everybody's alive still. Oh, what the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't. Hey, guys, could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? A map. It says sea deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door seven and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. So, is there a way to go back and grab uh, Ace? Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find Door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Yes, yeah, 7 knows a fucking loads of uh, shit, right? Otherwise, we won't be able to open Door 9. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. No way they're going we back well go. to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. So... Hmm. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. 
the six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. So the, this old fuck is awake. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. Fucking junkie. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Mm hmm. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. Yeah. You regret being bitch now? I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Yeah. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. Which key? A the center. Key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. The Junpei key. Oh, the solar system keys. Oh, yeah. We found a couple more in the laboratory in the kitchen. Here. The Earth key and the Saturn key card. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah, you, plus you have nowhere to put it. Yeah, on it. Now ah, we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Earth key that Lotus just gave me. And the Saturn key card that Lotus said was in the kitchen. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. You just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point! At least there is for me! Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Seven, one. Uh, that's eight. Uh, to get to door number three, it's we need four, right? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? So Clover's gonna yes, you are. go in. Alright, let's so, get moving. She's gonna see her brother. Dad. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. I'm interested in, uh, in getting to uh, Aces and Santa. Is it? Yeah, Santa's pass because right now we've gotten to uh, to here. Lotuses, Junpei's, uh, Akonis. And sevens passed, you know, so the other are missing. So maybe if we go through the next door with, with uh, a couple of them, maybe we'll hear something. Clovers as well, because we have no idea. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes, like a room. Ooh, a threesome. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. <sighs> I'm becoming seven. I become a pervert. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Let's open it. So the other ones are probably gonna find seven exploded there. So good luck. Have fun. Great. Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Oh yeah, I forgot that Santa was with us. What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? 
I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. I, I like his voice actor, by the way. Of course there's of a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? You're, you've activated my key card. I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Oh yeah, true. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So I think we gotta split up. So the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's yeah. a card reader next to the left elevator. Ooh, I, I got a bad feeling. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great. It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? I'm guessing you press a button. Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. Look, Jumpy! <sighs> Sweet! It opened! Let's get going! What'd you expect? W w wait What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. Juni... Juni was probably afraid of... Being locked... Up alone with a boy, probably. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> we will be all alone in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Fuck no. Well, uh, I'm I've Superman. Never... Of course I'm not afraid. I am the protagonist. I can just reload. You know. It's your first time? Having sex. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I might get wet. <laughs> the Japanese games, man. Fucking perverts. Uh, uh, oh, what? Down there. <laughs> I'd get soaking wet. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's uh, true. This was totally worth it, because, uh... I mean, you what the fuck? don't mind? Heck no, I don't mind. Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy... You're so brave! Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do. <laughs> I guess. <It's> so funny. <laughs> like... What the fuck? You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, I'm guessing she isn't talking about her private parts there. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes, so I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be... over. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, if it isn't sex, I don't know what is. Uh, over? What it is. Yes, I'll go to heaven. What the fuck? Heaven? 
It feels kind of like you're floating in space and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, yes, I've, I've heard that too. <sighs> Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. What the fuck is she talking about? Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. What the fuck? What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. This chick is a pervert. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. <laughs> Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. What the fuck? Uh, huh. She's talking about drowning. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> <laughs> See? Fuck's sake, man. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It that was a, right a nice five button. minutes of uh, perviness, you know? That was funny, though. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. It's dry. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I pressed the button again. Sorry, I pressed X. But it, you know, we get it. Yep. Not a single drop of water to be seen. We get it. It's safe. See? What does that mean? It's safe. How can Let's e go. deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. On the map. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, alright? I have no idea how to interpret that drawing, but whatever. Um, I'll go with it. But... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Ah, oh, crap, it closed! I can't just let you go alone, you know? Yeah, but, you know, if we can't get uh, up, uh, like, up anymore because you came in... Ah, jeez. Looks normal. It does, but it's fucking creepy. And I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. 
You're right. It's not flooded at all. Ah, uh, she was uh, holding her breath. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? It's not gonna happen. Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Yeah, you're talking pervy shit. Now then... Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Yeah, there was the, the other uh, elevator. Right. Then maybe... Well... It looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. Door number six. I knew it! This is a numbered door! Nice. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We, could. we only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. Yeah. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. Yeah. This guy's a good engineer or whatnot. That's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yeah, it can't be just one person. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. Like every every <laughs> every second they're they're like. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um. I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Nor do I. We need to get back yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Hmm, so we need to... Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Oh, shit. Now they found out uh, Snake's uh dad. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. <laughs> Shit, huh? So oh now they figure out. That's not true, is it? <sighs> we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Well, I I would just, you know. Wait. Not that him. way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is uh where is he? The shower room. On the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. 
Ugh, yeah. This is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, ooh. Oh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? But I want to see blood. I'm going in. Mm. Uh. Mm, nice blood. Uh. <laughs> just Ugh. like he said. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. Mm. She is. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. Creepy oh. sounds. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. Alright. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it, alone, and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. So Seven is narrating this because he is the detective. As we now know, so... Unfortunately, it didn't work. He probably, you know, figured it out with his, with his Sherlock Holmes the skills. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in... That happened. Boom! Yeah, so I guess... I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. Who could that be? I'm asking myself. And you probably are as well, so... Why don't you we finish up here? And you know, come back here next time. Maybe we'll find out who killed Snake. You know, that would be nice, right? But we made some nice progress, we got some uh, cool story parts there. And next time we're probably gonna be able to choose between door number 6 and the other door that the other guys found there. I have no idea, I don't remember <laughs> which door they found. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very pervy, weird as fuck, you know, very Japanese and whatnot, but... Yeah, well, I was being pervert, a pervert as well. Uh, as a joke, of course. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I'm running out of time here. Running out of minutes. And see you guys next time, alright? Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment, you know, say like, Hey, it's good. And I just saw that the other day, like, someone commented, just a smile face, but thank you for that. Cheers. See you next time. Peace.